hi guys welcome back to my channel in fact yes welcome back if you're new here please subscribe um, this is a fun channel I, I talk about public health food and lifestyle if they, if they call me back subscriber thank you yes thank you once again you can see i'm sweating because i'm here to rant i'm hungry i'm annoyed yes i'm annoyed the cost of food stuff is alarming when i say it is alarming i mean it is alarming it has been like 30% increase from the last time I went to the market and now like literally everything has increased in price I mean everything like is it that 10 naira increase or 20 naira or 30 or 50 or 100 naira increase really who is checking but as long as there is an increase there is an increase and I don't understand how a common man or how, how an average man is supposed to afford healthy food when they have to spend so much I don't even understand what I mean because I have to spend like so much more than I initially budgeted for on food stuff you know it's crazy and you can see how i'm sweating because i have to be facing up and down but now let me check no let me check maybe i'll get a, a, a cheaper price there. let me check maybe they, i'll get a cheaper price there. you know it's crazy guys just come and see for yourself eh i'll just come and see come and see what i'm talking about so yeah you see me here still looking around the market pacing up and down trying to find if everything started to take you know see as in for you to see my face and how troubled i was <laughs> yes so then i went to the um provision store no we're well, not really provisions someone that sells oil and palm oil and the spaghetti and a pound i bought pound with my daughter because she likes to eat palladium and um, a goosey so i had to buy that there for that one the price wasn't very there wasn't a lot of difference and i went to the malam that sells the carrots cucumber you know veggies basically and then i saw these beautifully looking or um, carrots brother carrots were so orange i was wondering that ah, this one not too fake you know she was just too orange for you know to the high it was very very orange and i of course luckily i saw lettuce you hardly find all these guys who have lettuce so the lettuce was actually cheap the lettuce was 100 naira and the carrot was also 100 naira so whenever i see them like that i just grab them for my sandwiches and my wraps yes yeah, so i got that then i went on to um where i was going to buy another item which was the yam flour the cassava flour yes amala so usually when i want to buy cassava flour i don't buy the already grinded one because most times they mix with a whole lot of other impurities so i buy them whole you know the whole the dry one like whole like that then i take it to the mill to 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 grind it for me that way i'm sure that it doesn't have other constraints in it there i now met a church member who was also complaining about you know the increase in price so, just grab my mala and i went to more because let's not be because it's, it's just it's, it's even something else then can you see here yeah, that's the yam flour that's how i buy it then i mill it then i went on to the pepper seller for my pepper pepper for um yes for the holy one so now this was me getting on can you see the things i bought just like it so this pepper was for 300 naira and it was the amala that i bought the yam flour that was already milled you see that was four thousand naira there just there yes and it will last me like two weeks yes two weeks and that's the oil so i bought this pure canola oil which was like three thousand i guess yes that's the smoked fish for vegetables that was 800 just about six pieces or so yes six pieces was 800 imagine that imagine that then i bought the fish the Titus fish, the two one the whole that I didn't cut because I usually like to use it for fish to another. Then the other one they call it balahek. So the Titus fish was one six. The fish, other fish is also um one six. Then this pepper I already said is three hundred naira. It's just tomatoes, um the shombo. I don't know what it's called now. Rudo. Then the carrots and lettuce I bought two hundred naira. That's two hundred. I already had um, other things. Then see the pounder yam. I said I was buying this was for one four, I think. Yeah, I bought this for one four. Yeah, and then of course my daughter also likes fries. Well, I do too. But then I'm supposed to process my process it differently. So I bought fries also. The fries was I think uh, one eight thereabouts. I guess yes. Now to the a four. I like vegetables, guys. I like a four ribu. So I bought vegetables, shoko and tete. That's the we call it African spinach, yeah, but it really is shock and today. Usually in Yoruba land, we use it for a four euro. So I bought that also. So can you see, guys, see what I bought? And uh, if I tell you how much I spent, are uh, you pity me? Yes, so I bought milk to this for pancake. Yeah, I bought this for pancake. I'm going to be making pancake. So I bought that for pancakes. Yes. What else do we have there? So, guys, you see, 
<laughs> the way things are going, eh, please, I'm a, I think Nigeria has to, we have to move. I think we, we need to move, you know, because, guys, by the time you spend in a week 15,000 on food items, it's going to be crazy. Then next, of course, I bought goat meat. Guys, you, could you believe this goat meat was for 3,000 naira? It's just about 10 pieces or there about, yes, I think 10 pieces. And I bought it for 3,000 naira, people. And then, you know the way goat meat is, not all meat, there is bone there, for you to know what I'm talking about, but then at the end of the day, when I counted, it was 10 pieces exactly 10 pieces. Guys, help us, help Lord. You just need to help us. So, let me quickly show you guys how I seasoned my goat meat. So, I had it in the honeyers, and after I had it, the ginger and garlic, sorry, I did my salt, I did my chicken seasoning, had it curry and thyme, and then I had it in pepper soup spice. So, I like to add in pepper soup spice to my goat meat and my chicken when I'm boiling them, it gives us, you know, this kind of unique taste and all that. So, I didn't, I wasn't filming when I was mixing all my spices but then i had it all that so that's it guys thank you for watching please subscribe like turn on post notifications for more content and um, this will help us to gain more popularity or rather gain more visibility so that more people can see our channel and then we can continue to motivate them to do more so um yes that's it guys see you later bye